Hi and welcome everyone. Lisa here for Whimsy Stamps. Thanks for taking the time to join me. So today we have a fun Christmas card. This is a very custom Christ Christmas card. We're going to be using several different products and we'll talk about those as we work our way through the video. But first off, I want to talk about how I created my Christmas tree. Now I knew I wanted a really big tree because I was going to do a slimline card since I was using three cats on this. And what I decided to do was just kind of sketch me a tree using my Copic markers. And it's really actually very easy. If you've been using your Copic markers very long, you know about the flick. Um, I think most people who have heard of Copic markers have heard of the flick motion. So pretty much that's all I did here. You can see those flicks. So what I did was I started with YG61 and I figured out exactly where I wanted the bottom of my tree to be and the top of the tree to be. And then I came in and just laid down some flicks to kind of outline the tree to give me an idea where I needed to work on my paper. So then I came back in and followed that once I had the layout of it I went ahead with my YG61 and started to lay down larger flicks and that's the lightest color that I'm using is the YG61. I come in and follow that with YG63. Again I'm just flicking that marker out towards the to create the edge of the tree so start in the center and just do a flick outward. And you don't have to be neat with this or anything like that. You just keep on create layering your colors and adding those flicks. It's so simple. It truly is simple. Now here's the thing about it. I knew I wasn't going to have a lot of this tree showing. So I'm okay with how it looks. It You can tell there's a Christmas tree behind the cats and it has ornaments hanging on it. That's really all we needed was just something to help tell our story on the front of the card. Now I'm coming in with my fine line pins here and I'm adding just some really fine little branches on my tree. And again, I'm doing the same flicking motion to create this. I go up the center and do some sketchy lines and then I flick out from the sides there. And it's your tree, you create it however is easiest for you, but this was so easy for me to do. Now I knew I wanted a star on the top of the tree, so I just grabbed that new stencil from Whimsy, the Cluster Twinkle stencil, and just used one of the little stars on there and my gold gel pen and colored in the stencil. I used it, I'm sure some of you know what a spirograph is. Well, that's pretty much what I did is I used my stencil to help me draw a perfect star. So I knew I was going to use the film strip die. It's one of my favorites from Whimsy. And I went ahead after cutting the tree and ran it through my die cut machine. Now my intention was to only use the tree, the little squares, and then I was going to do a full white film strip. But once I ran it through the die cut machine and I started looking at it, I really liked the way that it looked by using the whole tree. So I decided to add mounting foam to the back of the film strip and pop that up off of my card base to create some dimension. Then thought, well, I want to go ahead and add these back in using some glue. So those are glued down to the card base. Now the bookmark and tags die set that just recently released, it has a little um, different sized ornaments in it. So I grabbed those and I cut out some gold glitter ornaments and then some red ornaments. And here I'm just taking my pinking shears and I'm creating cracks or breaking the ornaments because we have three cats on the front of the card and we all know what they do to Christmas trees. So um, I thought that using the pinking shears would be perfect to give me that broke jagged glass look. Now for your cats, I used all three cats from the Catitude stamp set. And I stamped those onto Copic Express Blended cardstock and ran those through the scan and cut. 
And my cats are custom cats. They're my niece's three cats. So we have Phoebe, which I really shouldn't have put Phoebe on the top because she's fat cat. Then we have Gracie in the center there. She's a little demon cat. And then we have Stray Kitty on the bottom. And yes, that's what she calls the cat is Stray Kitty. We have her cat. So I say if you're going to do a card like this, you're probably going to do it for someone you know that has cats. Try to mimic their cats the best that you can with your coloring. And I just kept it real simple with some neutral grays. And for Gracie there in the center, I used E09 because she has that reddish orange color on her. Um, so it was nothing real complicated with that. I didn't do a lot of coloring with those. Now, I did go ahead and cut out the Baham bug because I thought it was perfect for this. And I did the shadow in white and the letters in black and popped those up off the front of the card. I'm coming in with my gold gel pen, adding some little tiny dots to each of the red ornaments. And I remember to even add those dots to the broken pieces laying down around the bottom. And then I'm coming in tracing the inside of each of those little open spaces. I'm skipping one. And here you see I'm just coming in adding three little dots in every other one. And it just adds a fun little touch and the gold is perfect because it adds this great festive touch to your card. So for the cats, I just use liquid glue and some foam adhesive squares to add them. The Bah Humbug sentiment, I used my foam adhesive strips to add that. And that's pretty much going to wrap us up. But man, I had so much fun making this card. And I know this is exactly what would happen to her if she had a Christmas tree. Her cats would tear it to shred. This is going to be the perfect Christmas card for her. And I cannot wait for her to get it. She'll love it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Let me know what you think of this in the comments as well. Now, if you could give this a thumbs up, that would be great. That's how YouTube knows that you are interested in the content we're creating here on the Whimsy channel for you. I really appreciate you watching and until next time, take care.